Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all the illustrious members of the media. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and all our special guests. This is truly a spectacular evening. It truly is what you call a memorable day in the history of cinema. Something like this is really something like what filmmakers and I always and all of us from the fraternity dream of. It's possibly the most magnificent cinema experience that you will ever, ever experience. Truly the coming together of leading lights from the movies, legends, all of them. I'd never imagined that I would be on a platform with Shankar sir and Rajni sir and Akshay Kumar, A.R. Rahman, these great leading lights along with a huge team of brilliant technicians. What we're about to witness is truly historic. Not only because 2.0 is the most expensive film ever made in Asia, but because of the technology, the storytelling, the narrative, and all that has been put into this magnificent piece of celluloid. Ladies and gentlemen, just before anything else, I think this team requires a huge round of applause from all of you. And now, a little bit of a recap for you to know where we all come from. Now, it's time for me to come truly to business. Here we are for the first look of director Shankar's 2.0. 2.0 is not just another high-tech robot. No, not at all. It's the most thrilling, fun, and entertaining adventure one has ever experienced, ladies and gentlemen. We all very well remember Chitti, our favorite Chitti, the robot, who was the most advanced robot of his times and could do just about anything in the world, anything. He was super efficient, super endearing, and above all, he looked like Rajnikanth. He was made by the genius Dr. Vashikaran, but unfortunately, Chitti, I think, secretly saw my film Kuch Kuch Hota and fell in love with Dr. Vashikaran's beautiful girlfriend, Sana. And then we all came to know that hell hath no fury like a robot in love. So Chitti unfortunately had to be dismantled to everyone's sheer sadness. And from Kabi Khushi, we had Kabi Ram. After six years, the world, ladies and gentlemen, has changed, completely changed. The need to come up with the most advanced and state-of-the-art robot didn't let Dr. Vashikaran sleep in peace. And so, guys, here he is with the most advanced chip in the universe with cutting-edge technology. Leica, in which you are all sitting today evening, was created the most super sophisticated robot of the world, the robot that you know as 2.0. The 2.0, ladies and gentlemen. Today evening, it's time to keep you updated and informed about the who's who behind the biggest high-tech wonder. The leading lights, the technicians, the technical team will come up on stage and we will introduce them, the people behind this piece of wonderment. I would like to introduce to you the system designer of 2.0 who makes Chitti look like the coolest dude in the world and we all know that. I mean the art director, Mr. T. Muturaj. Good evening, sir, and welcome. I mean, it's such a proud feeling, I'm sure, very proud for you and everyone associated with the film. Now, you've designed 2.0 so beautifully and made him look so hot. What if this time he runs away with your girlfriend, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say? Actually, uh, this is my first uh, science fiction movie in my career. Oh. Um, I fixed the limit according to the storyline because it must not look uh, too futuristic. And according to the, the storyline, I have uh, designed all these robotic things. And the lab, all these things. Well, it's all absolutely spectacular, and we can't wait to see what will unravel in 2.0. What is the feeling? Is there nervousness, excitement? What's the feeling? It's, I feel extra, ecstasy. <laughs> ecstasy? Yeah. Ah, he's feeling ecstatic. We like that. Well, you're not feeling half as ecstatic as any of us. Welcome, sir, and welcome to this amazing platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
And next to contribute to this glory of job are the operating system analysis. They are the ones whose language and instructions are 2.1 is gonna follow. So you guessed it right, they are the writers. May I please request the Tamil dialogue writer, Mr. Jay Moghan, and Hindi dialogue writer, Mr. Abbas Tarwala, to please join me on stage. Hello, how are you, sir? Ah, Abbas is here. Wait for everyone to come. How are you, Abbas? Hello, sir. How are you? How has the experience been writing these lines for these leading legends? Yeah, usually we make movies. This time we are making a history. I am proud to part of it. Well done, sir. Well done. We are so proud to be part of this historic movement. Abbas, what did it feel like? Daunting, exhilarating, intimidating, all the above? All of the above and uh, seriously exciting. Seriously exciting to do something like that with the kind of people that I've had the chance to work with. Uh, you feel humbled uh, and you feel empowered. It was quite fantastic. No, and any punchlines that you had to maneuver because you had two superstars in the frame? Uh, I was just trying to capture what they have done with the Tamil script and make sure that I don't lose the joy of it in the Hindi version. And if I've done that, I think I'm pretty happy. Well, I remember the first part had the exhilarating dialogue where he says, Happy Diwali, folks, and had everyone burst into applause. And I'm sure that there are going to be many, many more of such gems in 2.0, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a man of few words, sir, and you say the most incredible things on screen. We can't wait. Okay, I'm new to this kind of uh, stages. No. So I'm a writer, not a speaker. Okay. And my apologies because I'm not new to this kind of stage at all. This is what I actually do for a living. Direction to hota rehta side me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abbas. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Please. Thank you. And now we all have understood by now that 2.0 is exceptionally advanced. It can't be caught by anybody. Well, anybody except the only man in the universe whose lens can capture the fastest object in the world. One of the best cinematographers we have in the movies and the world over, Mr. Nirav Shah. Can we please have the man who executes this vision with such fantabulousness? My God, if I didn't know better, I would think a spiritual leader has walked out. Almost. almost. Are you, have you almost become one while going through this, the beats of this film? Except for getting laid. <laughs> uh, we're not, uh, we can't talk about that. <laughs> that didn't happen, did it? So what was the experience like, sir? How did it feel? Huge. Yeah. I'm spraying, I don't screw up. <laughs> no, I'm sure you haven't. Why would you? Yeah. You have this peaceful demeanor already. You are like an unshined halo in any case. I think you've gone into a zen mode making this film. It's 180 right now. Really? Is it? <laughs> well, what do you have to say? How do you sum up this whole experience working with Rajni sir and Shankar sir and now with Akshay from the Hindi film industry? Huge. huge. Everything is huge. Everything is dynamic. Everything, everyone is just saying one or two words here. I think everyone is so completely intimidated by the largeness and spectacularness of it all. But you have to get a hold on it at some point. I think we did it. All right, everyone seems to be a man of few words because I think they let the work speak for itself. Why not? Right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Neera. Thank you very much. Please. Ha. Ah. All right. We all know that 2.0 will be technologically the best in the world. But still, it's an Indian robot. It must have a beating heart. And when it comes to the matter of hearts from hardware experts, we move to the software writer. In simple terms, the lyricist, ladies and gentlemen. With great regards, I would like to invite Mr. Madan Karki on stage, the lyricist for 2.0. All right, we have the lyricist, Mr. Karki. How do you write lyrics for a film like this? Ke mere memory, ke menu card, mein mera disc ho gaya. Like things like this. How do you write? How do you kind of make it fun? I started my career with Indran One. Uh, my first song was for Indran uh, Robot One. It's Irumbile. It's like uh, Irumbile or Iradeya Murekido. Heart is growing out of steel. So that's how it started. And um, you're going, moving successfully behind. <laughs> We are forward moving people. Huh? Lyric writers are always behind the screen, so <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh. 
Um, yeah, I started my dialogue writing and lyric writing with Indran, and between uh, one and two, I'm sensing this infinity here with all these superstars and all these galaxies and everything around. So writing was always a pleasure. Working with the director Shankar, he always wants something the best. He wants the best out of it. He wants something new. He doesn't want to um, go inside cliches. He doesn't want to go inside anything that what people will usually think this is what will be in this kind of a movie. So that's why every department of his movie succeeds so well. Well, and working with the maestro A.R. Rahman must be the cherry on the cake. Yes, and uh, he actually sang the so first song of mine, and uh, he's amazing. So all these years, these seven, six, seven years since they first launched, and they both have been shaped me uh, into a good writer, I believe. Um, their ideas, how to think r differently out of the box, and how to give something positive out of even out of a situation which is not that very positive. So there are so many things which I learned with them in this past six, seven years. So. Well, we can't wait to listen to the fantastic score of this film and make sure, I'm sure, that there are amazing blockbuster tracks in 2.0. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please join us. All right. Next is the expert who will mesmerize you with his sound designing. I don't need to say much about him. His Academy Award says it all. May I have the honor to invite Mr. Rasul Pukati on stage, please. Hi. See you. So you don't want to take on anything easy like Ay Dil Mushkil. It always has to be like these big, magnificent films that you have to really break your back doing, right? Yeah, I have to send, a, you know, it's like a sleepless night is given to me. Any, every film that comes to me is like, yeah. you know, nothing easy. It's always so challenging, always. Was there anything spectacular or new or unusual that you had to give to 2.0? Yes, actually this film is going to be released in a in a new uh, sound format which we, would, we are going to design. Oh, so it's for, for first for cinema, for Indian cinema? No, in the world. Oh, in the world. Oh, amazing. And you want to share anything about that? Or, or you want to hold back? Or you want to hold back any information? No, we want to hold back. You want to hold back? No one tells me anything. I haven't seen anything. I'm just here praising the film to the highest heavens because I know it's going to be amazing. Thank you, Rasul. I can't wait to hear the final product. See it and experience it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now it's time for the motherboard of such a film, the backbone, the man who has created wonders with his VFX, Srini Sir. <music> sir, this is the most important department for this kind of scale, this kind of movie experience. I mean, you look far too calm like everybody else does. I, I would be like under an MRI in stress by now. How, is, how do you feel? Yeah, it's uh, definitely it's much, much bigger than what we thought were all my previous films, especially the uh, robot and Bahubali. Right. So obviously, the inside tension, it's like a, uh, the quality-wise and the, the responsibility-wise, it's huge. And with your bandwidth of work, with what you, like you said, Robot and Bahubali, it's like living up to your own, like your own brand value, your own work. So it must be that much more difficult. This particular film, do you have to do anything new, anything specific in the zone of technology to take it forward? Yes, definitely. Because this has a, uh, obviously it is coming from, again, Senkasar and uh, uh, all the big stars. So that technology has to be something new to introduce. Of course, now it's too early to reveal a lot of things. Yeah. But of course, it's what I can say, it's a bigger, bigger experience. So you can see in any Indian cinema. That's what I can say now. It's the first. Rasul just told us that we're going to hear something we've never heard. You have told us that we're going to see something we've never seen. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call 2.0. Thank you so much, sir. Please join us. Thank you. And now, the program editor, the man who had the most challenging job of editing a film that is the biggest coup in today's times. I don't think it can get better, it can't get bigger, when you have Rajni Sir and Akshay Kumar in one film. With loads of respect, may I please call Mr. Anthony on stage.
Hello and welcome. What is the length of the film? <laughs> Still not trimmed it as yet. Still haven't decided? So tell me, I was just putting you on the spot because that's the first thing you ask every editor about the length. It's always such a question that everybody wants to know. It's always a point of worry and concern. But you have this kind of incredible material. To crunch it down must be so challenging. Yeah, more challenging, 10 times challenging than the first film, Endrin. And uh, <clears throat> it was a nice experience to work on it. And uh, I had to wear these 3D glasses the full time oh, wow. while editing. That's the only problem. Oh, God. You, to edit, you had to wear the 3D glass right through. So are you OK about that? <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was fun, actually. It was fun. You had fun. Because I, had to, I had to see how long that the window shot should stay, you know? Right. It is actually one forgets that you know there's an extra layer to what we do when you make a film like 2.0. And what was your experience if you were to sum it up working with, with Shankar sir and the entire crew of 2.0? To sum it up, except for the 3D glasses, everything was really easy because everyone was perfect in their, in their own way, the art direction, the, the, the dialogues, the sound, everything. So everything was perfect. It was easy for me to edit actually. Well, great synergies coming together, great collaborations. And of course, like I've always been saying it this evening, we can't wait to watch the final product. Thank you so much. Please join us. Ah, and now the bug. Don't get me wrong, it's not a nasty bug, but the one to match with all the good looking men in the film and the one who can probably distract our very own 2.0, the super sizzling and smoking hot, who else but Amy Jackson. <laughs> Amy, first I have to say you look gorgeous. Thank you very much, Karen. You look very dapper as well. Thank you. Now that we've done with the pleasantries, we can just daunt you with the daunting experience of this film. I mean, did you know that you were going to be part of a historic film like this? I had no idea that I would be part of a film on this caliber with people like Mr. Rajnikan and Akshay Kumar and Shankar. So I'm very lucky and, and I've got my director to thank for that for involving me in this film. And were you at all intimidated by all these powerful men all at once? <laughs> the thought of it, yes, I was, but actually on set. Um, it's like a family and it's a really, really lovely experience and um, I'm learning a lot from everybody, so it's, it's fantastic. And do you know what's happening around you or are you just <laughs> dazzled by it all? Like suddenly when you have so many computer graphics, this kind of scale, everyone's doing something so diligently around you and it's like, as I said, the most expensive film made in Asia. Are you completely in tune and in sync with what's happening? <laughs> I think you have to be, but that has not happened um, easily. It's very new. It's something that I'm very new with. And I'm just embracing it. I have no idea what's happening behind the screen and, and with all the gadgets. That's not my compartment whatsoever. You just want to make sure you look stunning in every frame. <laughs> Oh, yeah, one of those. <laughs> well, tall order, you had Eshwarya Rai in the, in the film that they collaborated with before. So, but I'm sure you were looking smashing, beautiful, and as beautiful as ever, like you always are, Amy. Thank you, Karen. That's lovely. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to see you on screen. But for now, welcome to this platform, and let's, let's move on with the evening and see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you very much. And now... The CPU, people without whom the entire project would not have happened. With great pleasure, may I invite on stage the chairman of Laika Group, Mr. Subhash Karan. I'm very well, sir. It's an honor to meet you. And for a man who's put this kind of money into a film, you look like you're still smiling. I'm very surprised about that. Why are you smiling so much? <laughs> if I had to put this kind of wealth in a film, that is one thing I would not be doing is smiling. <laughs> but you're smiling, you're still smiling, lovely. <laughs> Give it up for Mr. Subhash Karan, the most, and his entire team. How does it feel, sir, to be part or to make, to, to kind of make sure that a film of this magnitude is going to be put out there? What is the feeling, sir, truly, from within? I have a good feelings. Uh, I like the script, so I decided to go for it. Nothing else. Wow. Thank you. 
That is the best producer in the world to have. I like the script and I said, go for it. You must not give any of my directors in my company these ideas. <laughs> because I say go for it a lot, but then they really go for it. <laughs> and when they go for it, you've had it. <laughs> But this is amazing, sir, and we are all so proud. I'm so proud, being a filmmaker, to be part of this spectacular evening, and I can't wait to watch the film. Truly, everyone here, sir, thank you so much. Me too. Um, I just take this opportunity to thank uh, my chairman, not on behalf of uh, CEO of Laika, but as a hardcore superstar fan. Uh, I just, Karanji, I just wanted to share something which I read quite interesting in the social media. If uh, Shah Jagan would have got three quotes, Taj Mahal wouldn't have been made. And if this gentleman would have sat on arithmetics, this magnum opus wouldn't have been started. I, th I, th I thank him personally on behalf of all the superstar fans and Akshay sir fans. Thank you. So we truly are with the Shah Jahan of producers right now, who's going to make his epic Taj Mahal and make us all as a film fraternity so proud. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And something to my uh, Tamil friends out here and uh, whomever watching throughout the world, uh, the unique selling point uh, is the combo. And personally for me, the best selling point would be uh, the 3D technology involved in it. It is not converted into 3D, it is created into 3D, it is shot in 3D. And uh, for all the friends out here and all the Tamil fans who's watching here, Talaivar anga patrupa, inga patrupa, anga patrupa, inga patrupa ma. So you're going to watch Talaivar close to our eyes. So, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I welcome you with, with tremendous pride. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Truly an extraordinary league of gentlemen. And now, I'm a fan. I bow to his vision, his mastery, his expertise, his consistency, and his utmost genius. Ladies and gentlemen, the man behind this spectacular piece of cinema, none other than Shankar, sir. We're going to chat some more much later. The, the team will come and take their seats and then we'll go into the launch of what we know as the most amazing experience. Shankar sir, we will be talking later, but for now, I just bow down with respect and with all my heart, can't wait to see this magnificent piece of work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the virus, the most dreaded virus, any software, hardware, any human has ever come across. In my career as a filmmaker, if I have seen any contemporary actor who can do it all, it certainly is him. He's done it all and has proven that he's the master of it all. It's the one and only, ladies and gentlemen, the man with many faces, with one great attitude and a history of amazing work, Akshay Kumar. Thank you, Akshay. We will, of course, be conversing later because we're heading towards the launch. Thank you, Shankar, sir. Thank you. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. He truly is the legend of all legends. There are very few personalities who have this abundant love that stretches across the world, the nation, and every human being resonates and connects with his aura, his being, and his personality. Ever since I have sensed him, I have been a fan. Ever since I've seen him, I have experienced his legendary status. Ladies and gentlemen, I bow down with respect, with all my heart, for the man of the moment, the legend, the superstar, none other than Rajnikanth. Uh, uh, Rajni sir, I, I, I know that you're fast, but this was a bit too fast, no? What just happened? Where did you go? Hello world, I am Chitty, the robot. Speed 1 terahertz, memory 1 jettabyte. Oh, 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 Chitty. Kanana, yappu oruve, 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 yappu
ஆனால் வர வேண்டிய நேரத்தில் கரெக்டாக வந்துடுவேன் நெய் சம்ஜானா நெய் நெய் கப் ஆகுங்க கேசி ஆகுங்க கோய் நெய் ஜான்தா மக ஜபி ஆகுங்க சை வக்ப ஆகுங்க uh but anyways didn't they ban you dismantle you lock you up in a museum something like that yenna yaaraliyo alikka mudiyadu okay i've always wanted to know you try to hit on your boss's girlfriend right aishwarya rai how's that going on huh tell 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 oh. That's a sad story, Karan. She friends on me. Yeah, dil hai muskil. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. You are so updated about movies, is it? Then let me ask you some rapid fire questions. One word for Akshay Kumar. Tell. Twinkle, twinkle, action star. Whoa. All right, Akshay. <laughs> Who is the king of Bollywood? The great Amitabh Bachchan. Mm. And the queen of Bollywood? Madhuri Dixit. Hmm. Aishwarya Rai, Sri Devi, Priyanka, Deepika, Katrina, Kareena, Anushka. Whoa, whoa. Rakhi Sawant. Huh? <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Please, Chitti. Now let me ask you one tricky question. What do you know about demonetization? Yes, I heard about this. from my boss boss who vasikaran no she was the boss oh anyway tagline reads the world is not only for humans what does that mean aliens robots who what sorry it has been programmed in my neural schema not to reveal any details if you have any questions on this ask him him who him sir chitti and rajni sir all together this is amazing welcome sir this is absolutely fantastic welcome thank you karan thank you why you are disturbing unnecessary chitti please uh, <laughs> I, i was hassling him a little bit everyone yeah. where are your three glasses please eh he has spoken <laughs> sir we we wanted to know we are all here for this memorable big magnificent moment what do we have in store Oh, is it? What are we going to see? Like everyone wants to know. Everyone in the room wants to know. Uh, it is too early to show the trailer or teaser, but definitely they must be having something to show. Uh, Chitti. Chitti has to have the last word. Yes before we move on we would like to call the legendary maestro the man who really can make any orchestra through the fingertips of his hands please welcome academy award winner AR Rahman <laughs> Sir your association with this team has of course been legendary the work you've done is beyond legendary everyone treats you like a barometer you are truly the final parameter of music how was the experience on this film this is probably the toughest film i'm doing because he's not satisfied with anything i'm giving so he like the trailer music though so you can we finished one song and uh, it's of course the most challenging working with him is ideals are very very high mr shankar and the pressure which he has for this movie especially having this whole team and trying to create something unique for india to the world 
ella program irvanike we can't wait to hear the soundtrack and all the music that will support this great piece of work thank you sir thank you very much thank you could we also call the vfx gentleman mr walt jones from tau films to join us hey how are you walt how does it feel it's incredible to be here yeah. and what what do you think it's the most expensive film that asia has ever seen is the responsibility too daunting for you <laughs> it is daunting i don't think it's too daunting though it's i mean the the creation of this world all of the effects that go into it trying to create these characters and really bring them to life on screen it's an enormous undertaking but we're we're certainly up to the challenge well we can't wait to see it explode on screen thank you very much and please join us thank you and now i'm sure chitty would like us to move on to the final stage of the evening to the launch of what we've been talking about to experience the magnitude in all its splendor and all its glory ladies and gentlemen i give you the first look with an instruction of course please wear your 3d glasses please join us mr a r rahman sir mr subhash karan please join us none other than mr akshay kumar and sir please rajni sir thank you please have a seat sir and we have the leading lights of the movies and just to begin with sir the captain of the ship like what is it that makes you do these movies on this tremendous scale every time each and every time where does this energy and passion and exuberance come from no i uh, i have to deliver something better than what i did before that's true yeah, yeah. so you always better your craft and do something more challenging every time yeah because i treat myself as an audience like you no know? so i have to satisfy the audience inside me right that's fantastic sir and we can't wait to see what you've captured this time was there anything specific in this experience that you like to share with us like everything is uh, what uh, it's very difficult film it's 10 times difficult than the part 1 and uh, it's like i felt part 1 is like climbing the everest if you see the everest will be in panic how i am going to climb it but step by step i i feel that i re i reached a little you will bit get but there. this time having a everest on my shoulder and climbing up the everest step by step ha huh. well thank you and does working mr rahman does working with shankar sir always feel like you're also climbing the everest along with him <laughs> i think we uh, kind of inspire mutually because a love is energy yeah and working with people like that also pushes you up and then i play him stuff which i do abroad in hollywood and we have this moments of great exchange and he's a visionary and he's always ahead of the times and he has got this uh, amazing sensibilities where he can satisfy all the what they say abc which i don't like splitting people into abc but i feel like he's got this unique uh, capability to reach out to everyone and 
and I suppose your combination, which has already been so exceptionally legendary, the great work that you'll have done together, does always living up to the history that you created before always create that kind of sensation that you have to do even better this time? Does that pressure ever bog you down? It's there, but we enjoy what we do. Every bit of it, he, he loves to sit with every instrument. Even when I'm taking uh, overdub for an instrument, he loves to sit and watch it. And that's the beauty. It's not like, I'm in shooting, you finish it and send me. He's not that kind. So that's the beauty, and he is part of the, the music. Well, Every great. Well, we can't wait, as I said. And we have a nervous producer who's all smiles, but nervous to answer any further questions that you already So we won't torture him I, anymore. I, uh, he's told me everything, whatever you want to ask him. I'm I, going to answer for him because he's told so me everything. I'm going to ask you. He says, yeah. <laughs> he says that even uh, when um, he has to give a speech to his, uh, all his workers and all, he never comes. He never talks. He just quietly stands there. And I think he's too humble for this now. So I'm going to pretend you're the producer. Akshay, yeah, go ahead. I would love you. to be this producer of this film. <laughs> so as a producer of the film, what made you put this kind of money into it? Sorry? As a producer, what initiated you to put this kind of wealth in this film? Well, I believe in this subject. <laughs> and I believe that this movie is going to create history. I believe that my, I'm putting money on a scientist who's going to take this movie and uh, show the change the whole history of Indian cinema. So that's all right. Whoa. Well, truly it is, Mr. Subhash Karan. <laughs> thank you very much for your vision, your confidence, and all the energy that you provided. Well, thank you very much for this question. For this, you'll get one Leica phone free. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. I'm very happy. Anything free is always welcome. And now we will go to 2.0 version to Akshay Kumar. Akshay, it's amazing that, you know, that there's this collaboration. You know, when it was announced, there was such tremendous energy. And for you to walk into a comfortable zone, as in their comfort zone, how did that feel? When you walked into this, there with these leading lights, literally all of them who have done such exceptional work together with each other and apart from you. Well, uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, this, I have, uh, to be honest, I never do makeup. Yeah. I have never done makeup in my life. It's been 25 years. I never put any kind of makeup. But this movie, I have done all the makeup of these 25 years into this. <laughs> and three, I swear to God, three hours I had to sit on a chair. I don't know how many films I've watched on television just while they are doing some makeup on me. And it used to take one hour to remove this makeup. So my patient level has increased, like I'm already a very patient guy, but with this I have increased my patient level a lot. And trust me, I'm very thank thankful to Shankar sir, to Rajni sir, uh, to Subhashji, to, that to allow me to be a part of this film. And I was very shocked when they chose me to enact in front of Rajni sir, who's fan. We all have been, so it has been a great honor. Truly is. I mean, just, I have to say, just sharing the same platform with Rajni, sir, is such a huge honor for a filmmaker and a fan like me. Sir, I truly am blessed to be on the same platform as you. And I, I know that you would like to say just a few words, but if you had to sum up your experience of working with this wonderful team and that, uh, that really are, I'm sure, as humble to work with you, what is the feeling, sir, when you see yourself in this great vision, when you see it on screen like this? Uh, to be frank with you, to work with Shankar is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> and he is a perfectionist. That's why he's still, from the last 25 years, he's in the industry, almost three, four uh, the biggest directors in the country, including you. He's also one of them. Uh, this picture, actually, because since I worked already with him, it's di but this picture is a 3D. It is very different uh, experience when I see myself on a screen. But I'm telling you the truth. This, in this uh, 2.2, the hero is not Rajni Khan. Akshay Kumar is the hero. Oh. I have not uh, given choice. If they had given choice, I would have selected that character. <laughs> <laughs> but hats off to Akshay Kumar. He worked so hard, so hard. And uh, you can see that on the screen. Sir, I had no choice, sir. <laughs> but a brilliant character, brilliant role. I'm really telling you the whole country will applause. Actually, after the release of the picture. Thank you, sir. 
your graciousness and your humility is something that the world respects you for thank you for just being that's all i have to say thank you for just being who you are and the way you are thank you sir thank, thank you very much thank you, and like i previously mentioned ladies and gentlemen there was a technical glitch but we are all sorted for the moment now and we'd like you to see what you missing in its own splendor and form right now again but i'd like you to wear your glasses to enjoy the experience i think we'll have to just कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं यार आ जाएंगे आ जाएंगे कुड आई प्लीज विथ ऑल ग्रैटिट्यूड इनवाइट ऑन स्टेज नॉन अदर देन सलमान खान Salman please join us on stage Salman thank you so much for being here today as you know it's a magnetic and a magnificent launch for 2.0 and we have we have the great Rajni sir in the house and we are so happy and humble that you're here today how does it feel to meet the man himself every time and again I've just come to see him I think he's the most amazing man that i've known and um, have a lot of respect for him i wasn't invited i got to know that his launch was here so i just turned up aki i think he's one of the most talented actors that we have and i've worked with him he's phenomenal i think that if there's anyone who's had a growth in his acting career as a performer from our side is only akshay kumar we all remain stagnant he is the only one that keeps on growing and growing and growing i think aki is one of the most hard working dedicated actors that we have rajni garu to bol jo ab kya bole i've done i've i don't know if rajni garu uh, remembers this one incident when we were doing a show together i think it was jumma chumma jumma chumma so i went to the bathroom and i see rajni garu throwing cigarettes like this to so in the bathroom so i said garu what are you doing is sir lot of wind outside i don't so that cigarette in the mouth to so open like air concert we are having it was in some i think wembley arena or something it was windy it was cold so i i said that no he's doing this here let me see and lots of cigarettes lying here yeah so i went backstage to see if he gets it right one shot he threw a cigarette here came straight in his mouth <laughs> i thought that was phenomenal i'm very happy to be here and i just saw the 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 teaser and i think it's fabulous I, large shankar makes like the largest films yeah. and um, why don't you do it <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you no, thank you salman thank you so much thank you thank you and it would be a gross injustice actually salman if you don't allow us all to photograph you with the amazing crew of 2.0 
Thank you, Salman. Thank you so much for really gracing our platform. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming, for all your love and humility. And uh, please, I'd like the, the team members to be on stage. I'd like, we have, we're going to open the, some questions to the house in a bit and a few questions from our prolific members of the media. Thank you. Uh, Rajni sir, we're just going to take uh, some questions from the uh, media. Thank you, Salman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you can say it. <laughs> Unless you want to ask. Some, yes, please, sir. Wait, Come, come, come. Thank you. Come, Rahman, sir. We're going to take a few questions from the house, ladies and gentlemen, specifically about 2.0 and hopefully about nothing else. So, any questions for these wonderful gentlemen on stage? Hi, Shankar. Hi, uh, hi, Akshay sir. Mera sawal aap se. This is Alok. Aap mujhe sun sakte hain, dekh nahi paayenge shayad. Haan, sir. Sir, mera naam Alok hai. Aaj aap kahan hai? Sir, main matlab camera ke piche hoon, to dekh nahi paunga aapko. Acha, acha, bol, puchi. Sir, sawal ye hai ki. रजनी सर को सभी सुपरस्टार मानते हैं और इस सुपरस्टार के साथ आपने काम किया है तो आपने ऐसी क्या खूबियां देखी रजनी सर के भीतर एक सुपरस्टार की सब मेरे हिसाब से रजनी साहब सुपरस्टार नहीं हैं मेरे हिसाब से रजनी साहब पूरे गैलेक्सी हैं मैं समय इनका बहुत बड़ा फैन हूँ और इफ एनीबडी हु इज़ गोट इन दिस इंडस्ट्री स्वैग एंड दैट इज़ ऑलवेज बीन हिम हाउ डू वेयर द ग्लासेस चाहे वो सिगरेट हो चाहे वो कोट पहनना हो चाहे वो कोट उड़ाना हो हर किस्म की चीजें मतलब ऐसा कोई भी नौजवान नहीं है जो इनके तौर तरीके सीखना नहीं चाहता बताना नहीं चाह और एक कमाल का मुझे किस्सा याद है सो मुझे एक याद है कि इनकी एक फिल्म रिलीज हुई थी फिल्म का नाम था बाबा और वो फिल्म थोड़ी चली नहीं थी और मुझे अभी भी याद है मैंने पढ़ा था कि इन्होंने सारे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरों को बुला के उनके पैसे वापस किए एंड आई थिंक दैट इज द बिगेस्ट साइन of being a big, very big superstar. I can never forget that. I have kept always in my head. So, thank you. Rajini sir, Rajini sir, koi Eid pe aata hai, koi Diwali pe aata hai, koi Christmas pe aata hai. Lekin pichle dinu ek khabar aai thi ki aap ki film jab release hoti hai, to us din tiyohar ban jata hai. Is compliment ko kaise lete hai Rajini sir? The day you come sir, it becomes a festival on its own. It doesn't matter whether it's Eid or Diwali. <laughs> by God's grace, my fans, they make great. Thank you. Uh, Shankar sir, over here, straight. Um, you know, next year there are many big films releasing, but two of the most awaited films are Robot 2 and Bahubali 2, and both belong to the South industry. So how, how does it feel that two films from that industry are taking India to the global level? Yeah, I am, uh, even I am eagerly waiting to see Bahubali 2. And uh, say audience, you know, for audience, uh, they need more films, uh, more, more than Bahubali 2, more than 2.0. You no, know, like every month, if they get this kind of film, it will be a celebration for the audience. And, and so, you know, the, 
Bahubali was distributed in Hindi by Karan Johar. So who has come on board to distribute robot, the Hindi version of robot? Is it? Yeah, that's, uh, we have to ask the producer, <laughs> no, to whom, with whom he had uh, used. I've reached this stage for a reason, no? that is stage one. <laughs> My 2.0 will be that. <laughs> <laughs> if I manage to again present the film in the, that is my 2.0 version. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Yep. Uh, my question here is to Rajni, sir. Sir, Modlo Solno, trailer Rombave Super. Ninga, whenever you play a villainous role, we all love you because when you're good, you're very good, but when you're bad, you're better. Do you like playing Chitti too? Do you have fun doing that? Actually, in this picture, I'm villain only. <laughs> <laughs> but always, actually, I would like to do villain characters, and uh, in, in this in this picture, you will see that uh, I mean uh, the real villain. <laughs> Thank you. So the action in this film looks spectacular. Uh, did you have fun doing it? Was it difficult? How was the experience of doing it? No difficult. Uh, was actually I, I told you he's a difficult director, <laughs> but I enjoyed because this subject is very unique. And I want to tell you, I mean, this, uh, this is uh, not only a prestigious picture for Subhash current producer or Shankar or the unit. It is a prestigious picture of the whole Indian cinema. Wow. And uh, I'm telling you, despite of our uh, technical excellence and the financial, uh, I mean, strength, we could not reach the Hollywood standard yet. But I'm telling confidently, openly, this picture will reach that Hollywood level. The every Indian, our inner film fraternity will be proud of. Thank you. Um, Rajini sir, um, you know, you, you, your superstardom spans decades. Um, uh, do you, from Indian film industry like Bollywood, who do you think will enjoy the superstardom that you have down in India, like everywhere in India, other than Akshay Kumar, because I know you will take Akshay Kumar's name. I couldn't understand. <laughs> what, what, what are you saying? Uh, who I else think. enjoys your level of stardom in Hindi who cinema? Who will enjoy? Apart, who will enjoy? At, at your age, maybe. At your age, at who your do you age, think who will, will enjoy? enjoy? At your age, who will enjoy? And he says, not Akshay Kumar, because you know, he knows that you will say Akshay Kumar because he's sitting next to you. They said, I didn't no, no comments, thank you. <laughs> uh, one more question, sir. Uh, Salman sir just said, um, narrated an incident where, about you and him. Uh, you shared screen space with Shah Rukh sir in a small sequence in Rawan. You're doing an entire film with Akshay sir. When can we see you and Salman sir together? Or do you plan to do one film? You've done a movie with me, Shah Rukh, and Salman. Salman sir. I would, even tomorrow if Salman says yes, I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. We're going, to take, we're going to take one last question, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shankar, sir. Yeah, straight. Uh, yeah, very Shiv far from straight, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the So there is a lot of excitement about the second installment of Robot. But uh, people always plan uh, the franchise. They always think of taking the franchise ahead. Do you plan to come up with a third installment of Robot? Yeah, of course, because uh, it's a very interesting uh, <coughs> uh, science fiction genre. Definitely, I believe something will come up in my mind for the 3.0 and 4.0 and 5.0. And it goes on and on. Thank you so much. Thank you. And those are, those are all the questions we will take now, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank these wonderful gentlemen for their time, their energy, and more than anything else, their abundant talent that we're going to experience on Diwali with 2.0. This has truly been a spectacular evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us on this platform. And I would now... And while we bid these wonderful gentlemen goodbye, I'd like to invite on stage, finally, Mr. Raju Mahalingam for our vote of thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to thank each and everyone for being here and uh, the legends out here. And I'm proud that Laika had got this opportunity to do this, to do this magnum opus. Um, I thank uh, Shankar, sir. Uh, Rajni sir and uh, Akshay ji and uh, the Oscar award winner uh, Rahman sir and uh, thanks uh, Subhash for coming all the way from London for this function. Thanks once again. Thanks a lot. And uh, I also want to thank you Salman Khan for coming all the way from Bandra and making this occasion so big. Thank you. <laughs>